Wale. 28 hours straight to San Francisco. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm pretty confident in this, but I don't know. <laughs> yes. Rule number one, you have to meet Max. Rule number two, you have to take a lot of photos. And rule number three, hopefully we have a lot of fun. And we try to blaze through as many Midwestern states as we possibly can on the first day. And let's see how Max is doing. Yo, hey, uh, dude, what's good? <laughs> Have you ever seen Ant Farms? I know exactly what you're uh, talking yeah, you about. Said. The face on the screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're so bad. <laughs> excited to have you guys. Dude, dude. We're even... excited to fucking go there soon, dude. I'm gonna get the fuck out of the middle of nowhere. Can't wait to see you, bro. Yeah, for real. Yeah, you guys too. Uh, stay safe. You guys are heading city. We'll drive But it was good checking in. Day, day two. While making our first stop in the fields of Colorado, we get a chance to meet our first road trip friend. Are you driving here to California? Yeah. Same. Are you? San Fran. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm there eventually. The other half uh, is married, or the ex-other half is married, lives out there. <laughs> so stop in uh, San Francisco for a while, see a few friends, and on down to LA to hang out with some buddies then Phoenix and then back through Colorado. I do this every year. I uh, shut down for two months and just take off. I'm supposed to be in Spain because um, I have a significant other. One of the many significant. Yes. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, hope you have a good one, man. Got those guy experience, <laughs> Yeah. Now after meeting our first road trip friend, I get to be the lucky contestant for the first selfie of the road trip. Hopefully I did well. I wouldn't jump it. I'm not gonna jump it, but is that my height? Baby, let go. Where the eye. <laughs> Second road trip companions. Her roommate, are you filming us now, by the way? <laughs> yes, that means you have to be filming. <laughs> <laughs> I was just curious. If we were. <laughs> but mutual friend, uh, her roommate was a friend of mine. Uh huh. And kind of introduced us. We got to know each other, uh, hanging out with a group of friends together. Yeah, so he was on her volleyball team and I was her roommate. And we knew each other for six years. And then we dated and figured out it was a good match pretty quickly. I think it's going well. I'm just saying, I think you guys <laughs> are amazing people. Thanks for this conversation. I really appreciate it. It's, it's fun to meet you guys. What are your names? I'm Tom. Uh, and Wale. Wale? Wale. 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 Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you a little story. Uh -huh. I did a road trip in college from Colorado to San Francisco uh -huh. with a buddy of mine. And he was going to San Francisco to see a girl. Uh -huh. But they just started hanging out uh -huh. together. You know, wasn't serious, not really a true first date yet. So we're driving out to see her, uh, New Year's Eve, you know, those kind of plans. On the, and we get there, we make a stop on the way, we have another friend in LA. We get there and she had flown out the day before to fly back to college, to Colorado, to see him. <laughs> Sooner, before we all came back for school. Uh -huh. And so uh, we advanced our plans to drive back quicker and powered by Dr. Pepper and Dip. This was 25 years ago, but my, my college roommate, I mean, he drove 20 hours straight. I mean, he didn't let me touch the wheel. Really? <laughs> no, he was motivated. 
to get back to see who was going to become his future wife. Wow. But <laughs> this is the part we say goodbye. Yep. Yeah. Pleasure meeting you. Great meeting you guys. Pleasure meeting you guys. And after meeting that heartwarming and lovely couple, it's time to haul it to San Francisco and see if we can make it there on the second day. Oh no. I just fell asleep a little bit. <laughs> Well, we're like two minutes what? away. Like ten minutes? Two minutes. Oh, two minutes? Shit, alright. Sounds good. Alright. <laughs> He's so tired. I mean... Good, it's good. How's the trip? It was a trip. You know, after going from Chicago to San Francisco in two days, we figured the best thing to do is to get some good night's rest and plan for tomorrow. But the real question is, are you a Playboy party fan? I am, yeah. Of yeah. <laughs> Did I have like... So many of the leaks, it's crazy. Bro, we used to go to like Star Rock and I'd pick them up at like 6 a.m. in the morning and I'm already blasting Cardi. Like, <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, okay. And you're like, in my car. And, like, I already, I already know that it's about to be crazy. Perfect angle, like ends right here. Since we couldn't salvage half of the roll of the Ultramax 400, I figured let's shoot Portrait 400 for the rest of this trip. Now, one of my really close best friends from college who lives in San Francisco now, we haven't seen each other in almost eight years. And here's a photo of us. I know you can roast me later for this, but we figured if there's ever a day to catch up, why not make it today? Yo, yo, what's good, Natalie? Hey, You know it? I'm in San Fran. Have, have you seen the bridges yet? You've seen that there's bridges here, so. Yeah. <laughs> you should have been a teacher. You have like this like undertone helping douchebag kind of way, you know? I just wanted to come this on your Instagram and just like see and tell you that like I would love to see you. And then we could probably like review Trader Joe's food together. I mean, we could. We could. We totally can. <laughs> I'll see you later, Gator. Okay, bye, Molly. Peace. In and out versus Portillo's. That's the real beat. That's Portillo's hundred percent, bro. However, if you incorporate the cake shake, ooh. after debating and going back and forth between which restaurant was better, <clears throat> Portillo's, we figured it's time to take some shots of some local scenery here in San Francisco. Did you live in San Fran all your life? No, I used to live down south, like forty-five minutes, and then I moved up here for high school. So. Tell them the real reason what? It no, I um, I kissed a girl on a school trip, um, and I got sent home from the trip. And so, because I got sent home from the trip, they wouldn't allow me to go to the high school. That was one of the rules. So then, we wanted to go to like, it's like part of a larger school system, and the closest school in that school system was here in the city. So. Man, got canceled for kissing, bro. Got canceled for kissing, PDA. Dang. Yeah, Catholic school life. <laughs> and here's just a couple of shots that we got throughout the day. After capturing these photographs, I waited and waited and waited to see if my best friend Madeline would actually show up. So, oh, is this Madeline? Uh, yes! Yeah. Oh my god! Can, look at you. can I park here? Hi! Oh my god! Ah, look at this. Look at wow, you. this is crazy! Oh wow! You are in the heat wave. Is this your first time in California or just? First time in San Francisco. Okay, awesome. Harrison, I think we'll remember this, right? Right, yeah. I, I said it to you, so. Oh, right, right, right thank right, you. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> now seeing, like being in San Francisco, I see this as totally being a state that is for you. <laughs> I totally get it now. <laughs> um, straight? Is 
that where we're going? Do you know where we're going? I have no idea where we're going. I thought we were, okay. I thought you knew where we were going. No, no Molly. I don't know. Are you trolling? That'd be nasty looking. Totally fine. Do I smile? Do I look? What do I do? <laughs> okay, sorry, I was like the you're first gonna, subject. I just want you to close your eyes. Okay. And then when I say three, two, one, when I say one, you're gonna open them and take it right. Okay. Okay. Sounds legit. It sounds legit. Okay, here we go. I still think of it. You're still thinking of it. No, it was good. It was good. Past. <laughs> what were you thinking of? I can't tell you. It's like it's like a birthday blown on your birthday bush. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna take a selfie. <laughs> yes. Right, okay. Just bridge. Ninja, can you sit for me, baby? photographer friends and even though I know a lot I like I have a lot of like surface level photographer friends right. but like not personal Close yeah people to like just shoot me all the time <laughs> <laughs> well Madeline it's been real it's been so real oh I don't want to hit the camera oh. uh. so good to see you I'll see you again 100%. yes yeah. thank you so much like and thanks for being real and listening to all my real life stuff Thanks, Wally. Um, okay, one last hug. Nice. Goodbye. Don't die. I'll, I'll try not to. See you later, Madeline. Bye, Wally. <laughs> the pizza man. Hello. Thank you. Dude, ever since he told me this, he kind of gave me an idea of like, imagine if I'm on eBay and I bought a bunch of old yeah. digital internal photos, but I was to release them kind of like similar to what that one girl does. Uh, My friend does that. Yeah, with the film. Yep. But if you're doing it with digital? Yep. That'd be interesting. I think digital would be harder though. Oh, 100%. Because it's hit or, hit or miss whether there's something yeah, there or yeah. not. Whereas film, like if you buy it and you see that there's roll shot, you at least know there's something there. Whoa! No, that's, that's mine. That's yours? Yeah. Okay, that's I was about to say. That's fire. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Go, go left. Yeah, go left. I look like young Trevor. Be you young Trevor? Yeah, I slept over at his house. I know it. Yeah, he's the first person I ever met in Chicago. Really? Yeah. Oh, this photo goes so hard. This might be like... The dark? Yeah. This might be like my favorite photo <laughs> I've ever seen. Stop. That might be like the best photo I've ever seen. <laughs> I know he wasn't serious. Bro. But he is! I am serious. <laughs> bro, you know the... Um, uh, uh, exposure compensation. No, but the thing is, is that if you go too far, if you expose one and a half stops, but if you press it one more time upward, then it goes to negative 1.5. <laughs> it goes backwards. <laughs> so like, go up one more time. Go up one more time. <laughs> you reverse it. Sway, 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 sway in the morning. Wake your punk ass up. <laughs> so this is where the camera collection is behind. Have you seen this thing? Yeah, that one's crazy. Did you see this thing? It takes a panorama. Like on, that. On 35? Yeah, on 35. So I choose like, okay, I want to do 1 60th of a second at F4. And then... There it is. Now it's not official till you take nude on this one. Oh dude, Tommy this... and I tried to use that. Really? 
and we used 120 on it because I thought it was medium format, but it's 127 format. It took up the whole entire frame it of the... scraped the whole film. Yeah, so when you developed them, it looked like it looked, looked like an X-ray. Ah, that's... This is the only Leica I own. Oh, dude, Leica boys. Yeah, oh, but don't worry, it's interchangeable. Inter this is probably my cleanest camera that I don't use. Yeah, it has, it's like a rangefinder. It's a Yashica. I don't really know too much about it, but like it's super smooth, but I think it really comes down to the shutter for me. It's like so like, it's wimpy. Yeah. I don't know. The F3, still my baby. First film camera SLR with an inbuilt, built-in light meter. But enough camera talk, it's time to hit up one of the coolest spots here, and that is Napa, California. Wale. Wale? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Mrs. D. Nice to see the creator of the great yeah, map. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Yeah. Baby. Yeah. Hey, this is Wale. We're gonna hey. work close around here. <laughs> hey, Wale. Hey. How are you? Good, dude. Good to see you. Welcome to Napa. Likewise. Are you like paparazzi? Oh, yes. I'm uh, <laughs> Max's uh, photographer. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, <laughs> that is like crazy. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Max is trying to run. Hmm? Oh. Oh, yeah. If you like, you can. Yeah, totally. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> this is uh, even crazier than I anticipated. This is literally bonkers, dude. Dude, I'm trying to convince him to stay here. <laughs> Have you guys thought about going down to LA or San Diego? I don't know. The way back, we were thinking if we did Route 66, that would be crazy. Okay, like if you're you can, you're, you start to get into Iowa and some place, they're getting ready to harvest, and they're looking for people to help. You could also go north and go up to like Glacier, and you can do Bryce and Zion right next to each other. And then also they got those great, really cool caves, antelope caves in Page, Utah, which is right around Bryce, and when you're coming down. Um, where they uh, they have those great photographs inside of those really uh, those colorful um, um, you know, canyons. You seen those? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if you want to know the one where they uh, they sold the most expensive picture ever called the Phantom, for like a million bucks. Yeah. It's like it's like it's like a, it looks like a, like a like a little tornado inside this really cool cave. Have you seen it? It looks really cool. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. Canyon. Hmm. I'm surprised Max didn't mention it. Until you get to the whatever California state line or whatever else it is. When you get to the state line, open it. Okay. Oh, wow. Do you guys want to go to the bathroom or anything? It, just directions. <laughs> <laughs> I love the signal. Who did? Yeah, who did the? It's amazing. I'm guilty. <laughs> Thank you. Just really great to meet you. Likewise. Yeah. And we won't do anything that you wouldn't do at our age many years ago. Oh, oh. that's a pretty long list. <laughs> <laughs> It's really important to travel when you're young. Yeah. yeah. A road, there's nothing like a road trip. Yeah. yeah. And make sure when you get across whatever border it is. You yeah. open. Open that baby up. Okay. Thank right. you so much. Have fun in Paige. Right. Thanks. Likewise. Give it up. Yeah, it's a great day. Now whatever is in this envelope, we cannot open until we pass California borders. So I guess we have to stay tuned and see what's in there. But you know what we gotta play now though, right? Nice to meet you, man. Likewise, bro. And we've got to give a great shout out to Max, man, for being a great host and being an awesome friend this entire summer. Dude, his parents was like, it was like the highlight, dude. Yeah, it's right? like, man. I know. It was the same thing for me when I came back. I was like, holy shit. Like, absolutely no hate in their heart. Yeah. Whatsoever, dude. It's just crazy. His mom introduced me to the family, and she was like, oh, this is Tommy. He's, he's a photographer. And she was right about to say photographer. She's like, Actually, he's not even a photographer. Just call him an artist. And I was like, damn, wow, that's crazy. Right. Like, that's the vibes. Yeah.
And we tried to do our best Travis Scott photo impression here, and it clearly didn't work out as good as we planned. Now that we've finally passed California borders, it's time to see what's in that infamous envelope. Here's a little something to support the journey. Drive on. You guys are freaking awesome, man. Like, seriously. Like, what? You guys have blessed our trip. Oh, my gosh, That's man. So freaking awesome. I'm going to Vegas and get it! <laughs> <laughs> now, on day six, we figured let's explore the great state of Utah. Glasses were essential. No, facts. This, oh my god. I'm gonna guess 125th at 5.6. Nah. No, at 8. At 8. No, I got it. That's exactly correct. What? 11 out of 125th. While driving back, you guys know how I love Denver, so why not take a couple shots here? Now, while driving back through Denver, we got caught in a horrible ice storm, and I've got to tell you, it was one of the worst and scariest driving experiences I've ever been in. But luckily, we do get to live to tell the story and see another day. Out of all the road trips I've been on, this one I kind of hold very near and dear to my heart with getting the chance to meet awesome people and new experiences along the way, get to meet someone that I haven't seen in eight years and rekindle that great friendship and to build one that hopefully will last even longer than that. It's just an amazing chance and even though this photo may not mean that much to a lot of people, I've got to say this is probably one of my favorite photos I've taken of the year. So I just want to thank you guys for tuning in and watching this entire video. And I hope you guys have a great day. See you in the next one. Peace.